Hey friends, May Flom here. You're in my studio and today's creative project. Well, this kind of goes, you know, I've done a couple weeks of more like coloring and stamping and that I do a lot for when I'm just, when I'm trying to like come up with new ideas. This is not so much about new ideas. This is a project that either if I'm feeling like I don't know what to do or if I'm feeling like I'm not really sure of what I want to do next or I'm feeling stuck, that's where this comes in. So this was actually a tote bag, not a super thick tote bag. It's a pretty thin fabric, but it was a tote bag given to me. So what I've done here is I put some embroidery stabilizer stick on backing on this. And all that's going to do, as you can see, I'm making a mess. All that's going to do is stabilize this super thin fabric so it kind of holds stiff and firm for me as I embroider. So what I've been doing here is testing various knots. If you do a YouTube search for knots, you'll uh, or not knots, embroidery stitches, you'll find lots of different ones. Some of these, like this one, I was just kind of making up ideas. Um, that one's just kind of backstitched. Then this one, I was doing some fill stuff. This one, I was trying to do something kind of fancy and I haven't finished yet. And up here, you can see there's some different ideas. I've got some beads going in here some sequins with some little knots in here, some be more beads. So this is, and I recommend having something. For me right now, it's been stitching. So I recommend having something that you can work on when you're not sure what to do or you feel stuck or I don't know, you just feel like you just don't know like what the heck should you do next. I really recommend having something kind of lined up that you can get at and go for. So for me, here's what I do. So this is, I know, I have a lot of embroidery thread. So what I did last year was I took, I rounded up all the bits of pieces of thread all over the studio. They were in like 20 million different places. And when I got them all in here, I was like completely shocked because I really didn't know I had this much. So some of them, this is like a variegated thread. So it goes blue to purple to pink, which is kind of fun. We'll use that one. They're all different colors. I love just sitting here looking at the rainbow of them. And I like keeping them on these. It just works well for me. So I'll cut a length. And then the way I've been doing these is just with two of the threads. So this process would be the same if you were doing any kind of hand embroidery or when I cross stitch, same thing. Um, but I, well, I need two threads to actually pop off of here. Let's see. One, two, there we go. And then I just kind of run, run this through. This is like not the very most exciting part, but just in case you've got some thread and yes, you could probably use just regular sewing machine thread. It's just a little thinner and I find the embroidery threads the just to work really, really nicely, especially since you can control one strand, two strands, etc. And then I put the, the excess over off to the side and then I take my two strands here. Let's see. Let's see if this will be nice to us. And this is always the least fun part, doing the threading. If anybody has like, oh, there's this really quick threading, let me know, guys, because I am forever spending time on that. And then I just tie a knot in the end. Maybe there's better ways to do this. I don't know, but here's the thing. This is my stress relief project. If I've had a really hard day, um, if things aren't going my way, if I'm creatively stuck, if you know things were bad in whatever reason, whatever way, this I pull out and play with for a little while. And one more tip here. So if I'm playing with it and I'm not done, or you know I, I mean I'll show you here. So uh, easier, easier to show. So let's see. Let's. Let's see, we have, so I'll look at the color of thread that I was inspired to pick, and then I'll look here and say, you know, okay, uh, let's say this little letter A, maybe we'll add some to this letter A. Now the great thing is, this is so thin, when I start on the back, I can actually see exactly where I wanna go, which is really, really nice, because that helps me out. So here, this is called a needle minder. Now watch this, so you put one on one side and then put the magnet, whoops, on the other. That's magnetic, right? Now watch. Whoop. So the needle will stick to there. So when I walk off, um, 
I've got this little guy somewhere, and he's so cute, little, my little bubble tea. So all I do here, guys, is I'm using the pattern that's here. Now, obviously, not all of you have this exact tote bag. What are you going to do if you want to stitch something of your own? Personally, I would either, you could stamp. If you have stamps, you could stamp. So you could pull out a stamp and find yourself, you know, just kind of playing with the lines of the stamp and filling it in. You could also do, there's so many different things you could do. You could find a fabric that you want to add to. You could print out an embroidery pattern or some clip art and work off of that. You could free freehand it. You could just fill an area. Personally, I find having some kind of pattern or something preset to be very helpful. You could also, instead of doing these kind of stitching, you could do cross stitching. I love cross stitching and I've got actually two different cross stitch projects that I'm currently working on. Um, I just haven't been feeling like working on them. And this was just a little more creatively inspiring to me these days. So that's why I'm pulling it out. And I will be doing another video when this is close to completion because what I am going to do guys is I am going to turn this into a pillow. So this is going to turn into the front of a lovely, well, hopefully lovely pillow for me. So I will be doing a video on that to share with you. Okay. And that's basically, guys, that's it. And like I said, the needle minder is great because I, <laughs> I lose needles. So having that all like set and always knowing where it is, and you can see I've got all, all my needles I've got on one of those. Um, because I never quite, you know, can keep track of <laughs> keep track of things in here. Anyhow, this is one way. I find it really soothing because having a pattern really helps me because I'm not trying to come up with the answers. Um, I'm instead of trying to come up with the answers, I'm just following lines and saying, okay, well, this stitch might work here. I'll follow, you know, I'll do this or this stitch might work there. Let's do that. Instead of trying to have answers, instead of trying to design and reinvent the wheel or create something entirely new, I let my mind wander too. If I'm stressed or anxious, sitting here and stitching, I've really found that stitching more than anything because, and like I said, cross stitch patterns are great for that because you have a, an exact pattern and you just sit there and follow it. But if you want something a little more freehand or you've got something else in mind, I'm finding this embroidery stitching thing to be really therapeutic and fun as well. So that's that. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. This new weekly series I'm sure having fun with. So be sure to let me know if there's something you want to see or there's something you got a question about as I play from the creative laboratory and come up with all kinds of fun creative ideas.